Mila Hada to What Mark to Mark, and we're here again for part two of our season finale. How are you guys feeling? I hope you guys are enjoying it. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. Sad that we're about to end, but I'm glad for what's going to come for next season. Yeah, Ingrid's been awesome for us, and we're still with our OGs here. How are you guys feeling today? Doing all right, doing all right. Doing good, bouncing along, you know. So bouncing yeah. along. For shadow, for shadow. We're trying to find a way to kind of, you know, do some more segments for our season finale. Uh, we figured maybe we could do a recap maybe of uh, the championship or the playoffs in general, maybe the NBA awards. So let's maybe go through that uh, in terms of who has been the most deserving, who do you think was snubbed from that NBA awards that we mm -hmm. had? I think Pascal Siaka winning MIP, that's... That's well deserved. Well deserved. Well, what well deserved. We, we, fought, we fought for what we talked about every, every all, all throughout the whole season. We talked about him being the most improved from what he's been doing since he's gotten into the league. It's been he's been in the league for three years, and now in his somewhat second year with the Raptors, playing on the main squad to being an NBA champion. I mean, though it, it didn't really count with the MI uh, most improved uh, player votes. It's 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 what he's worked hard for and. Congratulations to him. You worked hard for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to jump on that. Pascal Siakam, it's crazy how, like, his root, his ceiling is so high. There's still so much things he can do. He just learned how to shoot what, when. Last he, year. This year. This year. <laughs> this season. And, he's, and, he's shooting, yeah. and he was shooting pretty well at the corner, right? And it's crazy how he was also almost the last point when we won the championship. Obviously, Kawhi hit the free throws to seal the deal, but he hit that last that floater. Shot, yeah. The floater. And it's well-deserving. And... Again, he's from what, Con Co Congo? Cameroon. 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 Yeah. Cameroon. So he's, he has some crazy humble beginnings, mm -hmm. and it's great to see him win MIP because I think it, it's up from there, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of like, his humbling experience and everything being from Cameroon, I, I just find it so crazy how he started late in the game, though, at the age 17, of 18, 17, 17, 18 years old, yeah. mm -hmm. and everything, so and then like, the tragic death of his father and everything. So mm -hmm. everything he did was dedicated to his father. So I just feel like by that emotional you know, pathway that he's gone through, like he, he was well deserved of what, like, he, to becoming a, the NBA championship and for being most improved player too. It's a great story to tell. I mean, it from is. starting from uh, a place in Cameroon where you know poverty is 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 there to be discovered from there, you know, and and to play basketball. I mean, he was like a very late pick. You never know what he was going to turn out to mm -hmm. be. Turn out to be a steal, and turn out not just to be a steal, but to be a, a very important component in the Raptors in terms of what they were able to do this year. That's pretty amazing to go from, you know, all the way from undiscovered to almost not being drafted, the very late pick, to you know, somewhat we thought he was going to be a role player, and then they thought, oh, he could be a starter, and to turn from not just from being a starter, but to be a second, Star player, to be anything. a second option yeah. in a team, yeah. a championship team. Who would have thought that was something that we could get from someone like him? And, and, and for someone, not just him, but players like Van Fleet too. And, and so he could have been a nice six man to roll. But in terms of awards, I mean, to me, Giannis, I think he was deserving too of that, uh, of that award, not just because of what he was able to do, but his story too was just inspiring. He had the same kind of story from you know, being a 15 pink, never knowing what he could be, because he, he was very raw when he came into the league. He was skinny, but he was very long. And, and, and to be able to go to improve dramatically for over the years and to have that big jump, to be the main, to be built around Milwaukee was changed to be built around him. They signed yeah. in players like Brooke Lopez. They signed in players like Malcolm Brogdon. They brought in all these Nikola Mirotic so that it could be built around him. And he, and he took it on as you know the, the franchise player as the, the, the first option to be able to do that this year and almost took them to almost the finals mm -hmm. if, only, yeah. if it wasn't for the Raptors. So that's <laughs> to him. That's I'll give you. I mean, yeah. okay, you know, as much as James Harden had a really statistical, histor historical kind of season, I feel like Giannis deserved that MVP. Yeah. I think both both players are kind of tied in together. Obviously, we talked about how they've had some humble beginnings, some great stories that they've uh, told, and what they're they're still on the journey of their their story. And you know, Giannis is also that one of the players who just start picking up basketball late mm -hmm. in yeah. his you know life, mm -hmm. like at 12 years old, and being a late pick. Him just want to be that one video with his agent, or like it was, it was a young video when he was uh, with the African group. It's like, mm -hmm. I want to be an NBA player, and that, mm -hmm. that's where he is now. He's been built around what you said, mm -hmm. and now he's a superstar basically. Mm -hmm. And he's now the MVP. It's a great story that these two players coming from you know, low, low picks and being coming out of nowhere and being these star players in the league 
Giannis is, is a star player. Pascal will be that star player in the league very, very soon. It's great to see that these two players are going to be the next ones in this uh, upcoming league. Mm-hmm. And there was a story, too, about him where he almost quit basketball, too. It was because of uh, his visa. <laughs> and there was, oh, a, no some, yeah, there was yeah, okay. an interesting story where I think it was either expired or he had to go back. And um, I think it was something about his family. So if it wasn't mm-hmm. for that one decision that was made that to help him get his visa and get him everything here to be settled in the U.S., it would he would have you know we never would have seen his style flourish like this like he would have been right. Yeah. So uh, he's Greek and he's a freak. Yeah, yeah he he's the, he's the only player that when I when he touches the ball on the fast break, I'm like it's done, it's yeah. over. I'm not even yeah. gonna take a I'm charge. Not, like, he's so lanky, li- yeah. and when he dunks on a fast break, it looks like he's in a dunk contest. He's dun- he's jumping from so far away, yeah. and and. When in the playoffs, he hit some threes, and I got scared. He started, yeah. started, yeah. started hitting some threes. <laughs> that's scary. Yeah, he was like, threes. That's one yeah. thing. That's, yeah. he's exactly, he's exactly, like, exactly like Pascal. Once they find that jumper, once they find a good jumper, these two guys are going to be the beast of the East. They're gonna, yeah. The guys are going to go ahead. They're going to be the top two players yeah. in the yeah. Eastern yeah. Conference. I mean, if Kawhi stays or not. But these yeah. two guys are going to stand out. I'm these guys like are going to be watching. Yeah, if, the, if Kawhi does leave, then I feel like the Raptors are going to have to revolve around Pascal, around Pascal. for mm-hmm. sure right? right so that's the way I see it yeah. who are you missing reason. who are you missing Luca right Luca, Luca Doncic yeah, like as rookie of the year do you think he was deserved the overall I think trade? He, I think well yeah. I love Trey, yeah. but I felt like Luka deserved it more than Trey just because, you know, Luka Doncic like, managed to play, what, 65 minutes postseason and everything to the full thing when they went to, what, quadruple overtime, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. I felt like his hard work, his dedication and everything that he's done for the team and everything, mm-hmm. yeah, he's had a solid, solid. he's had a solid year, a solid season, yeah. for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, I, I chose Luka as well, I think a few, like, Early in the mm-hmm. season, and yeah, mm-hmm. he he he, does, he did deserve this award. I mean, it could have been a tie. It could have been the NBA could have gone and given them, or whoever voted could have given them the co rookie of the years. Mm-hmm. But I mean, yeah, Trey Young is up there too. But Luka mm-hmm. got the edge, and congrats to him. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I, it's a deep rookie squad. Too. I think I messed up on what I said. Something. Yeah. Can we cut oh. it though? If that's Which okay. One? Because it's not even, I was thinking of Jokic, not Don. Oh. Not Luka Doncic, that's why. Oh, Damn it, Yo, can we start this over though? After this? Oh, Damn. Cut, 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 cut. Where were we at? Can we cut that? Oh, I can ask about, I can ask we can, again we can about start, We can Rookie start again from Luka, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. When he said Luka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Sorry, wait, I was thinking of Jokic. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, wait, 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 Luka was in the playoffs. I think, think Doncic was in the playoffs. Doncic was in the playoffs. Doncic was in the playoffs. I didn't see him. Doncic was in the quadruple overtime. Yeah, postseason, I'm like, fuck. My bad, can we cut that? I'm just like, wrong itch, bro. Cut it at where, cut it before PJ said, what about Luka? Yeah, what about Luka, guys? <laughs> okay, well, yeah, you say actually you say it again. Okay. Yeah, can you say, right, it again? You say it again. Let's say yeah, it again. Yeah. yeah. Okay, ready? On PJ. Sorry, Let's just pretend you didn't hear it though. Okay. <laughs> right. go, Whoa, that's a good thought. <laughs> no, I'll just say it. Ready? Should I start now? Yeah. Did I? Yeah, that's a good try. <laughs> okay. I think we're missing somebody. Luca. What do you? What, did you think oh, he yeah, like, deserved that? Was he the deserving rookie of the year? Is that? I love Trey and everything, but I felt like he deserved it more the way that he. Like po- like season wise, he did really well. Mm-hmm. I cho- yeah, I think I, Luca was a well deserved uh, choice for rookie of the year. I mean, Trey Young could have gone and be he's like right there with him. Mm-hmm. And the, if whoever voted for the um, for rookie of the year could have given them co rookie of the year. But congrats to Luca again. Yeah, mm-hmm. very very good season for him. And it's a bright, it's gonna be a bright future with what the Dallas Mavericks are trying to build. Uh, for the future of that organization. Yeah, I think this, just the batch of rookies was just very deep in general. I mean, DeAndre Ayer had a season two. Um, it's just like, you think about it, three of these rookies were very deep, but not just that, they've also had players also in, in all, it was a very deep draft compared to last year. It was mm. just nice to see that. So, it, but I feel like Luca had a more consistent, he started strong and yeah. he was more consistent where Trey kind of took time off. Well, he took time to kind of adjust to the NBA and adjust to the defense because he was really struggling to begin with. People thought he was going to be a bust because he was turning the ball over a lot. He didn't shoot the ball very well. Mm -hmm. And he was pulling up from, like, you know, he was trying to pull up from that Curry range and he wasn't going in. And people were just thinking this guy was a wannabe Curry and wasn't making shots until now the shots start falling and they're like, oh, this guy is a real deal. So Mm -hmm. he had a late kind of bloom in the season, but still, like, now he's going to be the future of, for Atlanta Hawks, him and John Collins, and now with a couple of, with Cam Reddish, that's and DeAndre, uh, DeAndre Hunter, that's going to be a really, yeah. really yeah. interesting that's squad. That's a very exciting season, yeah, if anything. Very young squad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Up and coming. Yeah. For sure. 